What's up everyone? Welcome back. We are going to do a little exploring today. I got my good friend Sean Weeda with me and we're on a lake, well a river system actually right now. We're going to see if we can do some little largemouth fishing. Um, what I'm thinking is, I don't know what we're going to actually get into. We're a largemouth, smallmouth combination of both. There's both species in here. But the one thing that I, I, I love to do no matter where I go in the country is explore new places. Okay, Absolutely. I fished this place before and fished around here before but I've never fished some of the places we're gonna fish today. So that is the goal, to find new stuff. And so come along with me, we might uh, we might or might not catch them. So that's always the fun thing about it, but uh, we're gonna have fun. Let's do it. Cut! That's good. I'll blend it in. All right, all right, Sean. What do you think? Well, all right, first area, you don't know, you can get this too. But it's like keep it out there. All right, what are you think? First area, you think? All right, this is. I would, I would get up in here where. See, like I probably, fished, I fished in here before. Right, like it's more of like a, like more of a creek. Yes, I yeah. fished in there before. We could go to like, um, like right here, like straight downtown, like that area. I would think any, any of those little backwaters, especially if they kind of hook against the current, or they're kind of out of the current start. You want to so start you, in this zone? Yeah, just and then and then from there, if they've already we'll spawned, start in this zone. I think if they've already spawned, they'll probably work their way more towards the current. So okay, you want to start in smaller places. So we'll start right there. Somewhere well, we can break I'm it down. I guess choose the first location. So you got to choose the first location. You you point on the map. We're gonna go. Yeah. Does not matter. Let's uh let's check. This has got current coming through it right there. Is the only problem. So. That's, let's go right there. Okay. Let's go. Do it. All right, so we're gonna start in here and see what we got. So we got some docks, some rocks, some grass. That's good. Sean picked the first location, so if we don't catch him, it's, it's his fault. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna roll with. How about that? Is that fair? Small out. Yeah. First by the morning. Sean's still back there messing around with, his, with, his, with the GoPro. First by the mornings. Little, little small now. Flipping around some boat docks. I actually had two bites right there. They must have been both a little small because I missed the first one. All right. So first spot sucked. Just, it just is what it is. We didn't we didn't catch them. It just it wouldn't look right. So. You, this is the thing, like you, you, when you go looking for like new places, 99% of these places are not going to be very good, okay? But the good thing is, is when you do find one, you learn something, and so that's, it, it's tough to go practicing. It's tough to go looking for new stuff. I try to challenge a lot of you guys out there to constantly be looking for new places on your own body of water. We've all been there where we have our own spots, we like to fish this point, and those couple docks and this and that and you have your little milk run but you got to take a couple days and just say okay look i'm gonna use a day as a learning experience i'm gonna try to find a couple more stretches on the, maybe it's your main body of water or maybe it's it's just a new place that you never explored a new lake um this is this is where it's at so we've caught one small mouth little small mouth so far we're gonna run around and see if we can't find the mother load Definitely seem to like the vibrating jig. It seems to be the only thing we've gotten bit on so far. But uh, chunky, nice chunky largemouth. We got, oh, hold up. we got, there we go. Probably two and three quarter, probably two and a half. Solid fish. Him go, northern largemouth, post spawn, perfect place. Okay, that was literally the one place that opened up right here. Went back up into just a little bit of where that, they could ultimately get to the bank. So like they're spawning or anything like that. That would be where would, they would probably do it. Right, small mouth. Yes, sir. It's all a little small mouth. Bonus small mouth action. <laughs> I'll just give you two. Well, this actually does look good for some of these. Alright, 
got to fight. There's actually quite a few of them in that tribe. Okay, we found, we might have found a magic boat star. I mean, magic boat star. There's one. There you go. Good one. Heck yeah, man. That's a big one, too. Solid. Heck yeah. Smoke, too, huh? Good job, man. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Ha! Ha! There you go. Now you're getting them. You'll get you one there. Slime ball. There he is. Oh, there you go. Good one? No, I don't think so. I don't know. He's pulling though. He's just mean. There you go, Sean. Hey, look at you. Had to pick the spinner pole up. Got wacky, a spinner wacky. pole, a wacky it was just, rig action. It looked like one of them kind of like spots that looked like kind of like a wacky Oh, oh gosh. Oh, dang, oh, buddy. Dude, I'm telling uh, you. I mean, potato. it's like. Gosh darn, man. Like, I, I didn't mean, mean to be that mean to him. That's a, that's a flagrant. That's five minute penalty now. Five sit minutes. Down. Sit your butt down. Time I'll to sit down. That's all right. Hey, put power pole down right here. This looks pretty good. All like right. you might catch one. I might get no. I'm gonna get one on this little tunnel. That's a tunnel of love up here, boys. That's what this thing is. It's a tunnel of love. All right, y'all. So we are officially done with our stop number two, and it was a lot better than stop number one. But it's just sort of figuring it out. You know, this this spot had a little bit less current, um, was set up a little bit better, and definitely had a few large mouth. You know, Sean probably caught the nice one running at three pounds. Um, but it was definitely a vibrating jig thing, you know, those fish are post-spawn, uh, getting off the bed, it seems like, and around a lot of these docks, it, it, you know, we had one little boat house there that I would say, or dock, marine area, that we caught several nice, you know, several fish. There was a couple we missed right there, so I think we're going to roll this pattern a little bit. That's one thing that's so much fun about doing this. You know, you sort of get an idea of what's going on, you get a couple bites, and now you start to run with the pattern. And that is when it's like, that's when it's fun. That's when it's fun when things start clicking and you start understanding what's going on and you start catching bass. That's when the fun begins. No. <laughs> hey, Sean. Hey. Small jaws, you can't get away from them, you know? They're like flies. They're like flies up here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this, ain't, this is not fresh. This is opening day. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it was big, whatever it was. I, I don't know if it was a dang. No, it was not. I saw it. There he is. Big, small mouth. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, like Smoked it. Yeah. Look at the oh look, guys, look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. He just spit up a little goby. A little goby. That's the deal. The goby. That's the deal. Uh, they don't look anything alike though. <laughs> he just eating smallmouth. Pretty fish, like a two and a half pounder. Chatterbait, man. All right, see you later, buddy. Got my trailer a little bit. All right. Okay. Let's keep it going. White rot bass. All right, so the last two large mouth are towards the end of the dock of that old one. I guess, you know, one thing that's really important when you get around a lot of weeds and grass, a lot of times the docks will be hollow underneath or they'll have a little bit of room underneath them where those largemouth can sort of set up and do their thing and uh ambush is basically the, you know the, the big key so they'll set up on those places and suspend or um, just live up underneath them you get that perfect cast on that vibrating jig Go. You want him, you want him. Oh, it's better to have personality on the side. Oh, <laughs> ah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was 
Save that clip. Save that clip. There we go. Like, boom. That's a freaking good one. You want to do this? Yeah, I, you don't need it. Oh, careful. Let me, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Catch me a frog fish. <laughs> Some of the couple times we're catching multiple ones off the same dock. Same dock. That one acts like it's spawning a little bit still. There. I'd like to fish that. Oh, son. Good digging, digging. Biggin. God, he smoked as soon as it went in there. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, man, he's getting out of That's a good one, Sean. Watch the drone. Don't throw the drone! Oh, boys. Oh, man. That was awesome. That was a nice one. I skipped one. underneath there and uh, skipped underneath there and that sucker. About a four pounder? Yes, yeah, about a four pounder. Bit that tube. Good times, buddy. Dang, dang, uh, Flip that tube underneath there. Sucker smoked it. Nice, beautiful northern largemouth. Look how wide it is. Get her back. Oh, I knew it. Back. Oh, there's a good one. All right. Two of them on that dot. Magic dot pattern. Every dock that we catch one on seems to have more than one. Heck yeah. Flipping them up back here. See you later, buddy. Frog him. Got him. Paul was a World War II uh, fighter pilot. And, uh, and there. Dude, there's a freaking big and just blew up on it. I had like one way up in there. I can punch that. I jacked it up too much. Oops. There you go. Sorry, buddy. Swallowed it. Sorry, that sucker missed me and he did not miss it that time. No, you got him. <laughs> Dude, I love watching Wheeler work that frog, man. Unbelievable. All right. Sean, Sean is the flipper. Sean's the flipper. I like throwing that frog with my hand. I know. I jack it up. Tom, they're one squabbing. Very good. Heck yeah. Frogfish. There's nothing better than the fun. And frogging. Frogging. Oh, that. Holy fuck. Frogs. Frog rod. I mean, that was in. Got him. Got him. Got him. Couldn't. That was the one I just missed. Good job, Sean. Got his butt. Dude, that is so fun when they blow up on the frog. You know what I mean? Especially when you get one behind. When you get one behind the frog master, that's the best thing. You get one over on him. It's hard to get anything over on him, but when you do. That was one I missed. That I know. was one I just missed. He just missed it. He's picking out a backlash. Out there. there we go. It wasn't like I let him go. <laughs> Trust us. Big point right there. He's like, oh, buddy, I'll just throw out here. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I, oh, I got a bite. Oh, oh where did it. that come from? You got to get him when he's down. When he's not paying I know. Attention. I was like, you dang. Know, man, you got messed it. up on that. Yeah, you got to get him when he ain't paying attention. Competition, man. It's all right, though. It's okay. You're, you're okay. I'll let you have it. It's all right. That Oh, it's pitching now. Yeah, that's 
See that one got him right there. There should be several of them in this little patch right here. I don't want to figure out another way to make money. I, I, got, I don't know what I want to do. I feel like the boat business is like... It's gonna suck. Oh, oh, oh man. I'm covered there on that one. Got that one. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that wind's blowing. Working on business stuff. He's got to still run Weeders Marine while he's gone. I told him to turn the thing off. But he's, just, he's committed to his customers and we're committed to these bass. 320. Beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. Steve. It's all I'm Steve. Sean, Sean called it out. I really mean. Thank you, Sean. I think you actually had another one bite you too. They don't seem like they're like in the match, like great. No, mine was out front. And that one was too. He was off the side of it too. I don't get it. Yeah, little bluegill popping right there. You gotta see that's the key, you gotta take the shots. And when you know, you know you're gonna, you gotta take the shots and you see and they present themselves. Sean saw that little corner right there. I had one by me right there, little guy. Oh, no, no, what? Oh, that's a good one actually. Oh, God. It's okay, guys, I got him. It's okay. Oh, man. He was. He's out in the middle, but he choked it. He went. Thank you. See you later, man. We've we have caught some bass, buddy. Sean, we have reeled a couple bass, man. We've caught a few, buddy. We've but they on. definitely seem like they are just fresh to post spawn. They don't really want to be out main channel or anything. It seems like they're just sliding. How many we caught? Quite a few. Look at that, that's a thing. Very mighty little bass. You got a full mouth. Full. I mean, that's like a literally, a, you would never guess that fish could eat a frog. Well, that's a good one. Good one, boys. <laughs> man, he's out in the open too, man. Yep. He ate it. Nice fish, freshly post spawned, but healthy. You know, these northern post spawn fish, they are healthy in that clean, clear water, buddy. They're ready to go. Oh, it's a big one. Big one. Gosh, big one. He's looking at Weta. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're up there. Spawning. Oh, oh man. Oh, if that was that limb doing that. Let me catch this one on my tube real quick. Oh, this one here. Brody, get your camera in on over here. Came up on my frog two or three times. I just swiped at it, just swarped at it. Oh, you sucker. <laughs> Probably just kept me on him. 
and mess him up too bad. <laughs> that sucker, he swarped at my frog, he swiped at my frog, he did everything he could do to the frog. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, outdoors, TV, internet, things like that. Is there any way to do that on my camera? You see that one? Got him, all right. We're good. Another pretty fish. <laughs> that one just blew up on it like no other. Holy smokes. I'm gonna flip this shit down. See a beat on flipping. Caught me one flipping. Caught me one dobbin. Caught me one dobbin, my friends. Get your hat, Sean. Get back down there. Oh, he did it. I was gonna, I was gonna laugh at you if it didn't go if it went down too far. Thought you had it. I have faith in you. Dang deal. Right where you're supposed to be at. Alright guys, <laughs> this is getting stupid. Oh, I love it. Large mouth city, man. Beautiful tree. Now, that is like a textbook northern largemouth place. Like, lay down tree, under a cut bank, mat on the edge. It's gonna be up in there, it's gonna be out. Like, that is perfect. It. They hit it the hardest. Them little ones, literally, like when you hear them, like that. That's them, like coming up and cool eating it, and then like slapping their tail. Them big ones, they don't need to do that. They just come up and not always, but sometimes. It's like they just they make a bigger splash a lot of times. Oh, I smoked it. God. Dang. Now I know, like, it's good or no. Big family up here. Go shoot videos. Summertime, they'll be, they'll be out there on the main channel more. Good one? Nah, I just fish. They're all going so. And it bites your frog. Dude, this is just fun. <laughs> just throw the frog, my friends. Just throw the frog. Jeez. Sean just reeled one in. I'm reeling one in. We're all reeling. They're just frogging there. This place is stupid, dude. Unreal. Uh, not real. Isn't it? Um, not really. Unbelievable. I on a frog. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Dang, Brody's reeling them in out there in the middle. Get him, Brody! Get him, Brody! Get him, bro! Hey. Everybody's real. They're out there on them little mats. There's so many bass in here. They're literally out in the middle. They're out. They're along this edge. Oh, big it. Oh, gosh. Not a big it, but another one. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Messed him up. Two or three quarters. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. I looked away. I looked back, and there was a big old squirrel there, and I uh, threw my dang frog back up in there, and it went like, oh. Oh, Good one, that's right. 
<laughs> Another dice one, man. 42. Huh? I'm going to say 42. We're 42. 42. You go on, somebody. You're bigging, dude. Bigging? I think so. Bigging? I think it's a bigging. Bigging? Oh, my gosh. Dude, he's got anyway. me. Yeah, I right. think it's the biggest one of the day. No, oh no, it's not. Just another good one. Just the Jeez, I could not turn him. He's fat though. Look how freaking fat he is. Oh, He's three and a quarter. He's got to be. I got to wait. I got to wait a second because I'm, I'm getting pissed off. I just called him a dang giant one, and now he's a three and a quarter. And now all of a sudden I'm sitting over here like, gee, man, he Christmas. Every time he look, they feel like a giant. I mean, it's a dang three pounder. Sorry, my fault, guys. I apologize to the viewer out there, but that is a nice fish. Three pound northern large mouth eating a frog. I'm sorry. Oh, holy <laughs> God. Yeah. John had him on. I have on. You better stop right here for a Oh, gosh. There might be a few of them here. Hold on. Power pull down, son. Power pull down. Power pull down. Power pull down. Odie, go ahead and fire you something up in there. There's a guy. Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my, uh... All right, y'all, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. We, uh, we caught a lot of bass. Some really nice ones. Um, Sean caught the biggest one right at four pounds, but a lot of two and a half to two and three quarter pounders. Uh, really quite a few three pounders in there, too. But no, no giant, giant ones, but, uh, unbelievable. Looking around, trying to find new fish, new places, not fishing a place that I have... Um, you know, just running around on a new water. That is one of the most fun things that an angler can do. For at least for me, that's one of my favorite things. So, hope you all enjoy this one and learned a few things. Frog fishing at its finest, flipping around, a little bit of vibrating jig action, straight up largemouth fishing. Um, you guys have a great week, and we'll see you on the next one.